<laughs> okay, Mr. Speaker, sir, for the purpose of record, I'm Mutungi representing the Ngrita people of Amwadi Ward, and I stand here to support the impeachment of uh, Our Excellency Honorable Kawira Mwangasa because he is not qualified for the task. Honorable Kawira Mwangasa, she is a comedian, she is a liar, she is immoral. Because I can't expect a own governor to let a, a husband in front of male people in the stand of lecturing or, or uh, telling people how much it will move female uh, male forward by either uh, introducing some new techniques, either and, and this on ambassadors, but in the stand. She, she lectures to us how the, the reason as to why she loved her husband, Morea Vaisu, <laughs> by the long beard, Morea has. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to support the impeachment of Our Excellency Honorable Kawira Mwangasa. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Mutungi. Honorable Mbioki. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm Godwin Mutembe Mbioki, representing the people of Igoji West. Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the motion to impeach one. Honorable Kawira Mwangaza. Mr. Speaker, I've always wondered who advises the governor. At one given time, when we were in terms, I even wrote a, a text to her inquiring to know who are our legal advisors. But she retorted back to me. Mr. Speaker, I want to bring to the attention of this house and even to the attention of the public that in the month of July, before the elections, there was a committee that was formed for the purpose of ensuring that there is that smooth transition and also to ensure 